Hi everyone, and welcome to the Crypto Advanced channel. Today we'll be talking about Bubblegum Token, a new token that I recently discovered, and want to talk about it with you guys today. So Bubblegum is a sweet new auto yield token. Chew the gum. Right off the bat, I thought this project was really interesting just because of how unique the name was and their overall look and feel of the website. So a quick summary, they have Docs Dev. This is only six days old, $1.5 million market cap, 1,300 holders. It's being run like a startup because of their founder. They have weekly AMAs, a sustainable token model, and they're just crushing the roadmap with all the things that they're doing. So this recently just launched last Tuesday, so six days ago. And I think if you're trying to get into a project early, this project might be the one for you. Like I mentioned, it's a new audio token on the Binance Smart Chain. So let's go over the tokenomics today. So 10% fees on all transactions and transfers, 5% of that's redistributed, 3% transaction fee, and 2% burn forever. Invest. Buy Bubblegum as your next big investment. Share. Spread the word on social media. Hold. The longer you hold Bubblegum, the more yields are generated. So I think that's an awesome model that I think, you know, I think a lot of people would really like because of the fact that the longer you hold, the more you get. And that really feels like you're gaining value, not only when the price goes up, but just by holding it every single day. I mentioned earlier that this is run like a startup, and it's definitely due to the developer, James Wolf, who shared his information on his LinkedIn. He's shared himself on videos, 100% transparent, and just there to answer everyone's questions. I think what's really good about this is when you're looking at projects to invest in, you want to look at projects that you feel you have that trust in. And so obviously, if someone is showing their experience and talking about answering questions about the project, you really have that level of trust and you feel like, okay, this is a good place to invest my money in because this project is not going to just be for the short term, for short term gain, for people to gain money, but for long term, for all the things that they're planning to do. And with someone behind it, with that type of experience that James has, you really feel confident that this project will go a long way. They've had weekly AMAs, which is rare for new, such new tokens. Usually it takes a couple months for tokens to actually you know, feel comfortable in everything that they're doing. But right off the bat, just having these AMAs, they know what they're doing. They feel very confident in the roadmap and everything that they're trying to accomplish. And they have nothing to hide, which I think is really important for projects that you just, you know, have never heard of before. So I think a lot of people have been attending those and feel very confident and have already, you know, shown that this is something that is super interesting by the number of holders they have already. So one model that I found interesting is the sustainable token model, or STM for short. So it's very unique compared to other low market cap tokens. Essentially, it's low risk, but for, it's better for long-term investment. So they set up aside a pool of approximately 30% of the total supply at launch, and they're going to be using this just to help secure the overall project. The original 30% total supply is to remain the wallet so new yields can be produced. I think this just makes it so that everything's sustainable and safe in the long term. So you know that, you know, they're here. They're here to stay. They're here for the entire length of the project, and they're going to do everything possible to make this not only successful in the first month, but just a successful company overall. So I think that's an awesome thing. So check out if you want to learn more on their website at bubblegum.life. So again, like I mentioned, they have a low market cap of 1.5 million. 1,300 holders means essentially means, and that's good news. That means that even though that's still low, you haven't missed out and there's a lot of opportunity. If you actually check out the price right now, it's actually down to 1 million. It's kind of been fluctuating, but it's a great time to jump in. Again, it's only been a week. As you can see with the price, which is at 0 0.000001, 105, that, you know, like all projects that started, you saw that large um, increase and then a dip, but then it's good to see some, you know, activity was happening. Most projects just continue to dip, but you see some activity, uh, it, it raising and then lowering, and then it's kind of at the lower spot. But again, that's kind of where they were before, for the big climb. So it's actually a good opportunity for people to get in and, you know, you would expect that the price, even if it doesn't go up to the all time high, that it would at least come up to, uh, where it was in the previous, I guess this was back on, I think this is May 1st. Yep, on May 1st. So again, a good time to buy and 
you know, this could be, I think a lot of these people were, have been probably just in the short term trying to get gains. But if you think about this project and all things that they're trying to do in the long term and the rewards we're holding, I think this project could be definitely be interesting. 86 million tokens have already been burned. 70% lock liquidity for 24 months. So that's a long time. And so that's good news. Like I said, I think the founder having experience, they said on the website that they have, he has 15 years of experience in startup world as an entrepreneur. So I think running this token as startup, so taking his experience as a startup and building companies, I think is definitely interesting because it, it means that they're not in this for the short term, they're in this for the long term. They know how to, you know, make this project successful for the large amount of time, which means more time for people to learn about this project, get invested in it, and they make money off of it. So how do you buy? You could download a wallet using or use your existing wallet. They recommend either MetaMask or Trust Wallet. I like Trust Wallet, but that's my personal opinion. Go to PancakeSwap. You click on Decentralized Apps in the bottom navigation. Connect your wallet in the top right corner. Select Bubblegum. Make sure you're going to the website and grabbing this contract ID. We want to make sure that you're grabbing and you're buying Bubblegum token because that's what you want to do. Adjust the slippage to somewhere between 8 to 12%. The settings icon looks kind of like a filters icon, but click that. I would recommend starting lower at 8 and then going from 9, 10, 11, 12 as long as it goes through. If the transaction fails, again, try to increase. So start from 8 and then climb up. Liquidity is locked, so if you want proof here, you could check out uh, this BS scan link. Invest in Bubblegum. Make your future juicy. You could even check out their Twitter page where you can see they're doing giveaways and see all the uh, exciting news that's happening. But yeah, I think this project is just exciting in general. I think that their website, it definitely stands out when we talk about projects people want to get behind. They want to get behind unique, cool-looking projects that don't have, you know, it's so typical these days to see the word moon or Mars or safe. You know, having the name Bubblegum is definitely going to draw some eyes. They're definitely launching a lot, bunch of social campaign. They have marketing budget, which is always good to see because that's what you, if you, especially if you're a holder, you want to see them trying to push their project as much as possible to make it as successful as it can be. But yeah, l let me know in the comments if this project looks interesting to you. Make sure to check out bubblegum.life to learn more about it and then their updates. And again, you could even check out their roadmap and they do uh, a full on loom recording where you could see you could see their founder actually walking through their whole entire roadmap. And I think it's just awesome that they're doing this and it makes, I think if you see all these people that are happy and then the reactions that, you know, there's a lot of excitement around this project. So make sure to check it out. I'm not going to show the entire presentation of the recording. So a couple of things I wanted to mention was that this was before the launch of their new logo design. So if you notice that their logo is different there, that's because this was recorded, I think like a day or two before. Uh, so it's good that they're updating their marketing, et cetera. But the main thing I wanted to say is that one big thing on the roadmap, which I thought was super interesting, was that they're launching an MVP, minimally viable product, of a decentralized app. And they're going to name that decentralized app Bubblegum for asset tracking. Uh, they also said that people will be able to connect their wallets and track unique stats and trends. So I think it's really cool that they're not only will have the token, they're actually doing all these things along with their partnerships of you know, creating this decentralized app. And they said that the app is supposed to be super clean UI and it's just supposed to be really fun and addictive to use. I think if you are, and you know, I think if you are trying to build a product that's really important to make sure that it's super user friendly, that people enjoy using your app. And from James's experience from building products and being in software development for 15 years, you know, he has experience to make something, make a really good product. So the bubblegum token will be used as a native token within the app. And yeah, I think that's just something that's really exciting. And, you know, I think there'll be a lot when it does get released and when they start doing the beta testing, I think there'll be a lot of eyes and more investors into the project. So I wanted to mention that today. One thing I want to mention about the sustainable token model was the fact that they're setting aside a pool of approximately 30% to go into the internal dev wallet. So I think this is okay because in this project, they're actually telling you what they're using this 30% for. I know other projects out there either don't even tell you that they're setting aside money or, you know, they just don't tell you if they do what they're actually using it for. So Bubblegum is actually telling you explicitly what this they plan to use this for. So fund operating expenses, marketing costs, development efforts. And I think that makes a lot of sense, right? Like you want to know 
broadly what they're using it for and they're just being super transparent. I think that's a good thing. And like I said, other projects, if they don't even mention that or if they're not even setting aside money for marketing costs or anything like that, then you know you could question it. But if you know how any company functions, they need to spend money in order to make money and to grow. So I think it's a great thing and I don't want people to be worried that this is too much or that they're going to use this to make money. They're definitely putting this back into the company to help this project grow. So here's a quick look at the founder of this project. His name is James Wolf. And like I said earlier, that he is actually showing his face. He's telling you about his experience. He's saying that he's the founder. I think when you're looking at a lot of these LinkedIn people, you question if this is really them because either they don't mention the project that they're founding or their background doesn't match what they're planning to do. But it looks like James has a lot of experience, 15 years experience in sales, marketing, web design, product launches. He's saying right here, he's a founder at Bubblegum. So obviously he has a huge network of 500 plus connections. So you know that, okay, he's legitimately doing this. He's not putting his name out there. And you know, if he does a rug pull or anything, not saying he is, but you know, you know that he's not going to do that because he's putting himself and his name on the line for this project and you should feel safe. Again, please do your own research, but the idea is that having someone talk about this and putting on their experience in addition to all the other things that they've done makes you feel that, okay, there's actually a person behind this that's pushing this project in the right direction because this project might be the next big thing. So thanks everyone for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.